I want to preface with this is kind of embarrassing, so please don't judge me. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So my name is Dana and today we are going to be doing something that is not very fun, but honestly I'm kind of making this video as a means of getting myself to do this. If you've read the title, you probably already know what this is. Today, I am going to be cleaning up my closet. My closet is a little bit insane. Ever since I can remember, like probably since I was like literally like 10 years old, my closet has just been crazy. I feel like the rest of my room isn't necessarily always that crazy. It kind of goes in spurts. If I'm like really busy, it gets crazier. But if I'm not, it usually is pretty semi-organized but my closet is never organized. There's never like a time in life where it's organized. And recently I've been having trouble just finding anything in there. So for example, the other day I needed a pair of socks and I just struggled so hard finding a pair of socks. And so I figured it's probably time that I go through my closet and do a big clean out and get rid of a bunch of stuff and also just like organize it. And so I figured the best way to do this would be to literally empty everything that I have in the closet out of the closet. So this is gonna get crazier before it gets better. But we're gonna empty everything out of the closet onto my bed and then we're gonna go through it all, get rid of some of it, keep some of it. We're gonna try to like Marie Kondo that and then we are going to put it all back in but hopefully more organized. Now, I do share a closet with my roommate so I'm only gonna be trying to focus on like my side of the closet because she did not sign up for this video. <laughs> and so we are gonna focus on just that side and hopefully just be able to like show you that side so we'll kinda see how that goes. And I don't exactly know how this is gonna work. You might just get a little bit of a time lapse of it. I might, you know, walk you through what I'm doing along the way. We'll kinda see. First, let me just show you my closet and the state of where it's at right now. This is my closet door. And look, you can literally already see stuff peeking out of it because it's so messy inside of there. So upon entering, we can see that I have this like shelf that has stuff just like not folded in it at all. And then up here, I have just a bunch of stuff thrown. That's my Christmas sweater. I've been waiting to wear it, but it's a little too early still. And then I have this stuff hung right here as well as some random stuff like thrown up above this. And then we have more stuff just thrown up there. And then we have these racks where things are still just thrown up here. Do you guys see why I literally can't find anything? And then we also just have like clothes. It's just crazy guys. Do you see why I think this necessitates us just taking everything out of here because it's really crazy and really wild we definitely need to clean all of these shelves out for sure and like get rid of some of this because I know there's stuff particularly in this shelf right here that I have not worn for literal years since I moved into this apartment so we need to get rid of that this bucket up here too I don't even know what's in there definitely haven't used that for forever so we're definitely going to go through that and then also just the clothes like on this shelf too because I know I haven't used a lot of those so let's get started Project, I'm starting to realize that it's kind of a larger project than I thought. Let me just show you what we have so far. 
Okay, so we made a lot of progress in here. You can see the shelves are completely empty. I emptied this little hanging thing. Um, this side over here is my roommate, so we're ignoring that. I left these suitcases up here just because they're empty and that's where they belong, so I figured they could just stay there. Got rid of this container, and then we just have this drawer set right here. We do have these two like longer dresses, but they're gonna just stay in this corner. Um, in their dress bags or whatever and then we have also emptied out all of my cubby storage so everything is out of here and then we look at my bed this is just too many clothes for one person to own I think but honestly I don't really understand how I have this many clothes because I wear the same like five outfits every day so I'm not really sure why I have all of this I think we can definitely do some major decluttering I'm just not really sure where to start with it. I think what we're going to do is we're gonna start with these things on this bed over here because these are more like things as opposed to clothes and I think clothes are gonna be the harder part for me to like part with. Okay, change of plan. I'm gonna start with the hangers just because there's a lot of them. So I feel like once we knock this out of the way and get this like off the bed, I feel like it'll be a little less crazy overall. Do you see this? I'm literally sweating. It's so hot. The giveaway starts. Okay, this is just like a staple black dress. So I feel like I do actually wear this, but I just haven't in a while. I think the hard part about this is that in quarantine, I literally just wear sweats and t-shirts. And so some of the stuff I feel like I haven't worn in a while, which is true. But then, you know, when we go back to the real world, like I might wear it. ever been anywhere cold enough to wear this this okay so I was like really really obsessed with the shirt and it honestly brings me kind of sadness to let it go but it started just like I don't even know what it's doing here like just ripping so I feel like it's time to let it go okay this jacket is really cool because it's my travel jacket so i have a patch from everywhere that i've gone and then i just sew them on here so i have a couple that i still need to add on here actually but this is definitely a keep i just wanted to show you guys okay like am i gonna have any clothes at the end of this because i feel like they've all gone in the giveaway pile okay i have indecision issues so we are gonna come consult ashley item number one keep 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 no keep I'm gonna give away this one too. Which one? Should we start putting some of it back in the closet? That way we're like really like cleaning the bed a little bit. Let's do it. I rarely wear it, but it does hold a lot of sentimental value because this is the day that I met the Jonas Brothers. So I do feel like I should keep this. And maybe I should wear it more. Yeah, hey, let's keep that. Okay, so this I've only worn once, but I just am obsessed with it. So I think I just need to learn how to style this because I do love this jacket. Also was obsessed with this shirt for a period of time. It's kind of like a little grandma-y, it has these little flowers on it. But I think that this one also got stained. I can't wear anything but black, you guys. It's gonna have to go. I don't know that I've ever worn this shirt. Seems like it would be like a good dress shirt if I needed one. Okay guys, first full bag of clothes to go to Goodwill. So let me go get another bag. We'll keep them, we'll keep them. <gasps> All my clothes just fell, okay. Okay, that's it, okay. we salvaged them. Let's hang them up. <sighs> okay guys, we have taken care of all of the clothes on the hanger. Okay, this is organized. So this used to be like scarves and swimsuits, but I don't really wear scarves. So I got rid of the scarves, kept a couple of the swimsuits because I had like an insane amount. 
So I just have a few now. And then I think now that I only have a few swimsuits in here, I have like a lot of extra space. So I put just some of my like camera equipment stuff in here. So this is gonna be just a little bit of a hodgepodge. Okay, let's go through the hats. The Hufflepuff hat, we have to keep that. We have, this one's my favorite. This one's from a Tori Kelly concert. This is my Ducks hat. So I wear this when I go to Ducks games. My Disney hat, this one has my name on it. Oh, you know what? This is Ashley's Ducks hat. And my Study Abroad hat. Okay, so I have to keep all of this. But I think that this basket is a good place for them. Okay, so as an update, we got through all of the clothes that were right here. Um, all of the like hanging clothes and now I'm gonna start working on this pile but I did see the Emma Chamberlain Remy and Alicia so pretty basics a new podcast just went up so I think I am going to listen to that while I try to get through this giant stack of clothes so I am just going to give you guys a little time lapse of this and hopefully when we check back in this giant pile will be gone let's just really hope And I dropped out for a few months in my hometown Cause I'm moving on to big and better things Got a lot of little things but I'm up now Keep your head on straight, don't slow down Cause I'm moving on to big and better things We stay up too late but we don't go out My new friends are fake, they all talk too loud I got one more Okay, so I don't even know how long that took. I feel like it was like a couple hours, but I am finished. So let me go ahead and show you the finished closet. Okay, so when we walk in now up here, these are some things that I need to like give to other people or return. So that's why they're out and like up here. And then I just added my backpack up here next to my suitcases. And then we can see that this little cubby container is a lot more organized. I have just like Target t-shirts right here. I have sports bras right there. I have sweaters, sweaters. And then I have like a few like costume items and just like, things I don't use super frequently right there. And then I have extra like sheets and pillowcases down there. And then we move into the hanging section. So this is just so much more organized because I have so much less clothes. I know that this could probably be like color coded or something, but I actually arranged these by like frequency with which I wear them. So I put the ones that I wear a lot just over here so they're easy to grab. This is my Christmas sweater and I just anticipate wearing it all the time now that the holiday season is coming up and then the shirts that I wear most frequently right here and then it goes into sweaters and like jackets that I wear and then I have like extra hangers since I got rid of so many clothes and then back here I have things that I don't wear as much so this is like my work t-shirt my jackets my sweatshirts I maybe don't wear as much and then dresses and like formal things coats things back here and then we did organize that little bucket up there as well and then we come over here to my little cubbies and up on the top we have all of the rest of my sweaters and then i have my pajamas and just like sweatshirts and stuff like that and then i have jeans right here and then my like underwear and sock drawer i also went through so that is organized as well and then i just have my dirty laundry basket right there so that is the finished closet tour. I feel like I just got rid of a lot of stuff and so I like know what I have and it doesn't feel as overwhelming. So if you like these kind of organization videos, let me know and I'll see what I can organize next in my life. And other than that, leave a comment down below just giving some encouragement to someone this week who might need it. And other than that, I hope that you have a wonderful day. Go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. Them Have you seen our sloth? He lives right there. This is why it takes me so long to clean things.